Hyundai just dropped the new Sonata. This is actually not a brand new model. You might think so when you see this redesign, but this is actually just a facelift. So what we're gonna do is of course talk about the design and some of the spec and tech of this thing. Talk about the design for a front, side, rear, and then we need to talk about what's going on in the interior as well. So hey, let's have a look at this Motor Trend article here and let's see what's going on with the new uh, facelift Sonata. So, they were also confused for a brand new model because of the extensive facelift and rear lift, which I'm happy to report they actually put some effort into redesigning the rear end as well and it looks so good. Hyundai is killing it right now with their designs. So some of the changes in the front end which we're gonna talk more about is we have, yes, we have bumper headlights now. This seems to be the trend across the entire automotive field right now to put the bumpers in the headlights because then you can shape the top daytime running lights to be whatever you want. And it creates a pretty strong identity when you do that. A lot of companies are doing that and uh, Hyundai as well, obviously. And in the rear, we have an H-shaped taillight that takes over the rear, again, connecting both corners and giving the back a wide appearance like the front. Meaning, in other words, that we have a full light bar in the rear end. But we also have that on the pre-facelift. So it's not a new addition to this design. So what about the interior? Interior. So you got new dual 12.3 inch screens make their way into the cabin taking a page from new other newer Hyundai's and I'm gonna let you know what I think about this integration here you might have an idea of what I'm gonna say about that Hyundai didn't, didn't give any details on the infotainment system but we can tell from the pictures that its design and graphics are new and the dual 12.3 inch screens appear to be closer together than they are in other Hyundai Kia vehicles with the same setup. So what about the powertrain? What about what's going on under the hood? The 191 horsepower 2.5 liter naturally aspirated inline four could possibly continue to be the base engine while the 180 horsepower 1.6 liter turbo four would be the optional powertrain. And they also don't expect any changes for the end line. And the end line looks absolutely fantastic in this new facelift. Gonna have a look at that in just a minute when we jump into Photoshop. It's expected to still have the 2.5 liter turbo four engine with 290 horsepower and 300 11 pound feet of torque not bad for a small sedan this size and we can expect this to reach reach uh, the united states later this uh, year and go on sale this year so let's jump in now and have a look at uh, this new design what a step up from hyundai in this um, in this facelift it really does look like a brand new model and this is just a mid-cycle refresh so that means that this new version down here that they put so much effort in uh, redesigning it's not going to be uh, around for very long until there's a brand new sonata coming in but i think with this front face this design could probably stick around for another uh, five to eight years or something like that i always thought that this uh, front end of the of the pre facelift looked a little bit like a, like a fish one of those fish you find in the rivers in the mud with those uh, long tentacles i'm not sure what it, what they're called but that's what this reminded me of and i feel like this actually just came out yesterday because they had some cool integration with the daytime running lights here as well and can you imagine that this treatment of daytime running lights where it goes from strong lit down here in the bottom and then it kind of fades up until and turns into a chrome trim piece up top this is now considered considered an outdated design and that's how uh hyundai are just churning out new designs in their lineup i think it's really cool i also did not like this upswing in the rear end you see this curvature it goes this way i always felt like it was gonna go this way to kind of plant it and have a nice slip at the bottom i did a redesign of this way back i remember i did that change to the front end and i think it looked a lot better when you have more of a uh, lip that kind of hugs the road in front of you instead of having it be concave like we have it right here and i'm glad to report that they did a lot of changes in this new one for example working on this line at the bottom and just look how how much more confidence we have in this design this is the end line that we're comparing here in the rear i'm going to show you the normal uh, Sonata and compare the new one to the old one but I just wanted to show you this the end line I think it looks absolutely fantastic a lot of horizontal lines and just look at how playing with graphics like this 
having this light bar for example stretching from one end all the way across straight line to the other end then having this chamfer start of the grill at the bottom creating also stretching out the front end you can see just how much wider this looks even though it's the same size but it looks the perception of the width in the front end looks like it's so much wider than the pre facelift thanks to the play with uh, with graphics in this design it also got a lot more uh, static and the angles just feel more confident overall in the front end the previous generation a lot of curvatures not sure if this was supposed to be a curve did he want it to have it straight or what's going on here and then you have another curvature down here creating a very messy almost uh, melted cheese with some sword cuts or knife cuts in it in the front end that's kind of the vibe i got from the old uh, sonata the new one though looks absolutely fantastic let's have a look at the rear view before we jump in to the interior and have a look at this dual screen setup that we have there so here we have the old one obviously up top and then we have the new one at the bottom and this is not the end line this is just the normal uh, sonata and look at the integration of this uh, black piece this looks so much more digitalized now and i actually like it usually when we go away from this emotional design and into more of a digital uh, feel for the design i don't re necessarily like when we do that in car design but in this case when it comes to hyundai's i think they're they have something special that kind of just makes it work previously we had this um, angle of the led you can see we still have a light bar here and we still have the exhaust pipes visible by the way the end line has quad exhaust visible still for the 2024 facelift i think that's a great idea to keep those in there it looks super sporty and uh, it separates it a lot from the normal sonata but kind of the same treatment here that we have in the front end we have this light bar very static and then goes into this uh, vertical element of the led so going from straight horizontal to straight vertical and it kind of clashes right here but at the same time i don't know why but i feel like it's working with hyundai's design with these days they just have something special about their designs that still have that emotional automotive feel but at the same time they're digitalizing all their designs in a very strange and cool way and look at the integration of the uh, diffuser at the bottom and the graphics that we have here for example they clean that up and have it be a lot more confident in the rear end as well and then we have these two uh, trim pieces at the bottom looking really cool and a lot cleaner than we had in the pre facelift i also like this new uh, bar black bar that we have it looks like it has some sort of uh, pixelated lights here i'm not sure if these are lights or just trim pieces but they look very very cool and yeah, here they just have this unique design language right now which is absolutely crushing it across the entire lineup the kona you have the new elantra as well which looks really nice so let's have a look at this interior here and let me show you what is going on with this interior so they did a big refresh in the interior as well from what i can see here you see that we do have a digital gauge cluster in the old one with a perfectly fine looking housing for this thing it looks perfect this interior i think this looks great we have a nice integrated an infotainment screen here as well sitting in the dash we have some vents down here and then you have the controls uh, physical dials and button just it it looks modern it looks perfect we don't need to change too much in the interior i do like that they changed the steering wheel i did i was never a fan of this uh, weird uh, spoke design that we have at the bottom of the old steering wheel felt kind of um, very unsporty to me and that's one detail that I wanted to redesign in the interior but the rest of it I was happy with it I think it looks great so the new one we have dual screens here as you can see the typical integration for today's cars is to just have this big screen on the dash this looks like it's curved so that's kind of cool that means that you have the infotainment screen facing towards you just a little bit with some angles but i don't really mind it in this case this is just the way it goes these days with interiors we do have big screens on the dash that are not very well integrated in the overall interior of the car and that goes for this new design here as well however 
we do still have a new steering wheel which I think looks a lot better than the old one and we still have they decided to still keep the physical buttons and dials for all these functions here and this is all that matters to me these days I still want to have those buttons for the main controls of whatever you're using all the time while you're driving so you can feel your way to what you want to do instead of having to bounce around on a touch screen and try to figure out where you need to go in the software. This works for me. I'm just going to accept that we, <laughs> we do have these big screens on the dash now and I'm not going to complain too much about it moving forward as long as we have some physical buttons at the lower end like we have in this design so well done Hyundai I think uh, still I, I think I started to say this two years ago that if you want to work as a car designer these days I would you know aim on going over to South Korea with the Kia brands the Hyundai's and just get into that group and that uh, sort of creativity that they have going on over there now because I think they are absolutely crushing it with their designs and this new Sonata is no exception to that.